Good morning. Today's a very exciting day because I'm heading to Papa Sal's farm. Um, this is a World Packers experience. So I found it on the World Packers uh, website. Um, it's actually the reason that I signed up. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> uh, it's the reason I signed up to um, World Packers because I really wanted to experience this. I just met this lovely man and he's going to take me over there for 50 bucks, which is nice. So we've got all my gear. So my little truck driver got me here, which is nice. Um, at the location where I'm supposed to be, but I have to figure out a yellow taxi of some sort. Well, I've located the yellow taxi. Now it's just a matter of him trying to figure out where, where we're gonna go and see how much it's gonna cost. So it seems like someone's actually coming to get me. I've been directed to sit on this little chair, so I'm gonna wait here and figure out what is going on because the directions weren't very clear, but. We'll see what happens. So I'm not really sure what the deal is. I've been sitting here for ages and I've been just told to just wait for someone. I don't really know, but having chips for breakfast. I first kind of stale. I think the bag might have split. <laughs> I think it might have split on the plane because, oh wait, it did. Yeah, the pressure would have ruined it. Well, breakfast, yum. Okay, it's been an absolute mission. I've been waiting here for like 45 minutes. Finally got a van, tuk tuk. Um, it's just been so hard trying to communicate with these guys and trying to figure out like where to go because some of them don't like. It's just a random place. It's a random farm that I'm going to. Um, so I've had to get Papa Sal on the phone to speak to them and so that they can communicate and figure out like where I'm trying to go. Um, but hopefully this guy has figured it out. I'm starting to get really hot too. <laughs> it's really starting to warm up and this little tuk tuk is so freaking hot. But um, hopefully, fingers crossed we can go soon because he's like, oh, we'll go at 1 p.m. It's like it's 9 o'clock. So like it's only like an hour drive. So I'd like to get there sooner rather than later because I don't want to waste the day here. Like just in a random little market parking lot. So I managed to kill the, um, I hope you can <laughs> the past hour because we're just sitting there in the little parking lot. So I killed the hour writing a blog post which is something I really really need to do anyway um, and now we're on the way so it only cost me 100 baht to get here which is pretty amazing considering I paid 50 baht just to go like five minutes in the city but that's okay um yeah this place is Quite interesting. I think that's a school, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I've got no service, so I've had to call Papa Sal on his phone. But the guy, the taxi guy, is also gone. So let's hope that Papa Sal knows exactly where to find me. I did say I'm next to the building and under a shelter, which is where all my stuff is. Over here. Um, but yeah, well, hopefully he'll be here in like 15 minutes. So wish me luck. We'll see what happens. So I'm just here at Papa Sal's farm. He's, um, he's just said he's setting up my bed right now, which is so lovely of him. And he's like, as soon as I got here, he gave me like all this papaya and he gave me some like noodles with some like sauce on it and um, some pineapple and the papaya. Like I don't normally like papaya, but oh my God, it's so, so good. It's just so sweet and it's from his farm. So it's completely organic. There's actually, I don't know if you can see, some women out there in the fields. They're planting some rice. So there's another girl staying here at the moment whose name's Emily. She's from Germany and she's been kind enough to take me all around and show me different parts of the rice fields um, and just give me a heads up on like things that she's experienced and how I can have a good experience here, which has been really helpful. So thank you, Emily. She's up there at the moment. <laughs> um, and we've actually just done a little bit of rice planting in um, one of the fields over here. It was a really cool experience. I mean, I've never done anything like it before. And it's, I guess, pretty simple. I hope we've done a good enough job. Um, the people from the Karen uh, village were kind of showing us, but because they have their own language, they, it's really hard to communicate with them. Um, but they were very friendly, of course, and pretty helpful to kind of go this, like this, and kind of show us. 
it's honestly so peaceful out here. Like they've already done all these. Um, and we just want to help them finish off this one here because it's, yeah, it's a really cool experience, but there is no shoes out here. I mean, they wear some gum boots, but we've just been wearing nothing. So we did this little section here, which I guess looks good. Like seriously, they're so quick. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works. So, you get these little bunches, and they've got tied up with like straw. Kind of wash the base of um, the rice off. Um, it's a bit muddy, so just kind of swirl it around the water, and then you just like smack it so it gets like nice and flat on the bottom. If you can see that, like so, and then I'm just gonna grab a little bunch. It's about like that much. And you hold it right at the base and then you just push it into the mud until it kind of feels like it's secure to some degree so it's pretty simple and you just kind of want to space it a little bit further than the hand apart so maybe about an average sort of foot length apart and then you just plant away look at going for it she's just like bam 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 and i'm like ah. bunch like that and then into the water until it kind of feels like it's stuck. And then it just sits like that. So obviously there's still this field here to do as well. I love these little huts, like, isn't that beautiful? Just like, you know, in amongst the mountains. It has sort of been a storm trying to roll through, but it just hasn't kind of broken through. So these people are part of the Karen Hill tribe and um, they don't actually sell any of this rice. This is just to feed the village um, and visitors that come. So yeah, it's a um, pretty uh, unique experience and quite a beautiful little place. So that was a really cool and unique um, experience. Never done something like that before. So it was really nice to give that a crack. Um, I'll also show you my little hut as well for the next few days. This is where I was sleeping. So this is it. It's like a little straw hut. And then I've just got my bag here, my bed's here. Um, it's also got a mosquito net because apparently mosquitoes can get quite bad. Um, and this is my view from bed. Not too shabby. In order to get up to the kitchen and toilet, this is the bridge we have to go across. tricky. We're making some bowls for a little omelette mix so just goes like that and then it can go on the fire and that's our little omelette mix. Yeah, better isn't it? Good. <laughs> It'll sit but better. But it's a big cup, big cup okay? to, Yeah it's a bit big. So I've finished making a little omelette bowl and then just bring it over here and pop it on the fire. Mm -hmm. so this is the final results of the egg. We have some rice and some noodles as well. Oh, it's pretty yummy. Good morning. I've just woken up about maybe like half an hour ago and surprisingly I slept pretty well last night. I mean, I did wake up a couple of times throughout the night just because there was a lot of like wind and like a lot of things sort of going on. But for the most part, I slept pretty decently. Yeah, I wonder what we've got in store for us today. There's never really seems to be a plan. It's more just like wake up and see where the day takes you kind of thing, which I quite like. It's like, I don't know, just expect the unexpected kind of thing.
sugar. Mm. Not different cook. Not warm. Yeah, for the coconut. Very nice. Oh wow. What is it? No problem. What is it from a coconut? Co coconut. Coconut sugar. Coconut sugar. Yum. So we've got some noodles here that we had for breakfast, papaya salad, and then we got omelette. Pretty yummy. So we're taking it pretty easy today because it's pretty warm. It's warmer than when I got here yesterday. Woo. So this is the bridge, a little bamboo bridge I've got to go across to get to my hut, which is this one here. So <laughs> all I've got to hold on to is this. And it does wobble a fair bit, but that's okay. Just take it one step at a time. Just focus. <laughs> We aren't doing much at the moment because a massive storm sweep through before. It started with like a crazy amount of wind and then it just changed to like bucketing, like raining down heaps. Um, but it's really beautiful just sitting here and enjoying it. Um, so peaceful, so quiet. Like, all I can hear is the thunder, some chickens, some, um, some birds, some frogs, just the rain. Pretty nice. We're making some fried bamboo for dinner. And we're just about to put in the bamboo that um, has been boiled yeah, no, and shut it up. up. It's, it's, it's good bamboo. 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 That one, thank you. So, it is a tiger bun leaf, and we use it for mosquitoes. Not for uh, make a herb. Make a herb. Oh, it smells nice. It's very like similar to eucalyptus in a way. And you know. it smells nice. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> it smells good. Yeah. And where do you put it? All over your body? Not only the make a herb on it. Herbs. Uh, 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 Emily's rubbed it all over herself already. And you did it as well? <laughs> no, not the, I do for the You can? Yeah. Okay. It smells so similar to eucalyptus. It's got a very strong, sort of like minty vibe about it. Huge bunch of bananas. Come on. No. It's oh. working. Very pretty. <laughs> Look at that nice photo. So I'm just wrapping up my time here on Papasau's farm. I'm just packing up my bag um, and heading off to Pai today. But I just want to say this experience has been so, so, so nice. It's been so wholesome. Papasau has been so incredibly accommodating and it's just been a really, really beautiful experience on this farm. It's like, it's not very often you get to experience something like this. So um, if you have the chance or, um, yeah, the opportunity to come here or the time to definitely just set aside a few days just to experience this place because it's it's really beautiful. Papa Sal is just extremely accommodating. Like he'll just bring you in like he's your like you're his family, and he'll treat you like your grand like you're his grandchild, and he'll make sure you're always well fed and comfortable and happy and safe. And yeah, it's this whole time I've been here, I've just felt really really happy. This place costs 300 baht per night to be here. I've got this big butterfly that's just landed on my bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so affordable and it's so worth the experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I want to bring out a lot of um, experience-based videos and um, a lot of like unique things that you can do, um, especially with well packets, because I feel like it's such a great option for travelers, especially those on a budget. But it's also not just about traveling cheap. It's it's about experiencing like a new way of life, and um, I mean that's why we travel. That's that's the point of it so it's kind of just like getting you closer to those communities um, and to the people where you can have a really authentic experience which is what so many of us want 
from traveling yeah so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this um it would really help me out if you'd subscribe and like this video um and stay tuned for my next one bye emily and i are officially leaving got a lot of gear on ready to go <laughs> about to cry <laughs> Thank you, Papa Sal. Goodbye. Sorry, Goodbye. <laughs>